Hi guys, welcome to Simple Programming. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create multiple instances of your Spring Boot application in your local desktop or machine. And then let us take a look at how the data is represented in the Eureka Server Console as well as the Spring Boot Admin Console. Let us go ahead and create uh, multiple instances. For this, what you have to do is go to Run and click on Run Configurations. Go to the Spring Boot app run configuration and click on new. Give a name for your run configuration. Let me say I am going to give it as admin service port 8004. Click on project and select your project. In this case it is going to be admission service. And then search for the main method. The main method is present in the admission service application. Select that. Then you have to mention the port. Click on environment tab in the run configuration and click on new. We all know that the port is allocated to the server.port environment variable. So now I am going to give 8004 here and click on OK. Apply and then close. When you are using multiple instances in your local machine, it is advisable to use the boot dashboard available in the Spring Tool Suits. Let me show you how the boot dashboard looks like. Alright, so yeah, I am here at the boot dashboard and you can see here all the opened up applications are getting displayed here with along with their different instances of port. So I have created multiple instances of all my services here and starting this is quite easy when you are in boot service. Let us go and start this. For this, first I am going to start the Eureka server as well as the cloud config server. Okay, so both the cloud config and the Eureka server are up and running. Now let us go and start all our services. All the services are up and running now and let us go to our Eureka server console and take a look at the how the information is displayed there. So I am here at the Eureka server console. Let me do a quick refresh and you could see here uh, the information about the multiple cluster is displayed here. The admission service has four different instances running. The log service has three instances running. The student service is running at three instances, whereas the Zool has two instances. I renamed the admin service to admin server to be appropriate. That's why you are seeing it as down and up. This information will be reflected in a few minutes. So let's give it some time. So before, uh, before that, let's go and take a look at our Spring Boot admin console. All right. Uh, I did a quick refresh and you could see here all the instances are registered here and if I click on the admission service you will see the multiple instances available within a single service. Let us take a look at our wall board. Now the wall board is reflecting the same information. So the admin server is running in one instance, the admission service is running in four instances, the student service is running in two instances, uh, the Zool server is running in two instances whereas the log service is running in three instances. So now do you see the real advantage of using the Spring Boot Admin? You could consolidate all the information about all your instances in one single UI application which will give you a better monitoring and better control over all the running applications in a distributed network. Thank you guys. Uh, please subscribe for more such videos.